Today, we are in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and one of us will travel as a millionaire, while the other one has a budget trip. But you can pick just one. Yeah. This one, maybe? I don't know. No way! No! Budget! Budget! Trip to Rio on a budget. So unfortunately, I have just $100 for my Rio trip, but I'm happy. And now I need to find a place to sleep. The Uber is very expensive for me, so I decided to take a motor taxi. And uh, I love motorcycle. And my trip to my hotel is pretty nice. I found a hotel here in Pacacabana Beach, $25 per night. And actually, I feel very rich with my $100 here. So, yeah, I'm happy. So, over there, my accommodation for tonight. So, here's my $25 room. Here I have bed. I have nice heart with crazy redeemer. And also, I do have some uh, condition, TV, work desk, you know, like, yeah, it's a pretty cute room. I even have like fresh sheets, soap, and here is the restroom and shower. And also, I do have like some patio here, yeah, cool. My physical key. So, Andrew was so lucky to choose his budget trip in Rio de Janeiro. I hope he's fine. Uh, but I will have this burden of doing the uh, luxury trip in Rio de Janeiro. And we'll start it here in the iconic hotel Capacabana Palace. This is the only one I know, so of course I had to book it. So I have this one king bed with the ocean view and it costs $1,000 per night. Uh, the hotel is full of history, so I'll be exploring the place. I have Capacabana Beach just in front of me and I was told that we have nice beds set up by the hotel. So full mode vacation. And staying here, I join a long list of celebrities, royals, and presidents such as Princess Diana, Madonna, Justin Bieber, Rolling Stone, Tom Cruise, and even Einstein, just to name a few. So while they are printing my portrait to hand on the wall of fame, I'll just walk around the hotel. And so I travel a lot around the world and I have a pretty cool tradition to um, send small postcards from different countries of the world like hey mom hey dad look i'm here and it's so cool i love it that there is this small box with different postcards and mail it to my parents they are in ukraine and let's see i'll go to my concierge hmm i think i have some chocolates i wonder if andrew's hotel has chocolates and champagne and a card home chocolates so this is my option to save 20 dollars and here is my free entrance to christ the redeemer and here is the map all the way to the christ the redeemer my challenges you know i can meet like snacks no reception be in a group i don't have any friends with me so i can ask someone but i'm not sure so no dogs, no camping and this trail uh, takes me like about like four hours so I decided to pay probably $20 and go to normal way yeah I take a train so I came to this botanic garden for the hike but unfortunately I don't want to go for this challenge and I found this uh, botanic garden pretty interesting I uh, meet some monkeys and also I found some uh, lost city uh, yeah and it's again a free of charge park so here is durian in real life 
I love shopping, so I went to find some luxury local brands and I was absolutely amazed how they find inspiration from Amazon trees, plants and birds. So I bought some dresses, blouses and lots of gifts for my friends and family. Um, I know it's a little bit expensive uh, experience, but like it's my kid dream, so I have to go to Chrysler Redeemer. It's a beautiful ride on this train, kind of train with uh, cinematic view. Oh, yeah, a little crowded, but it's super cool. I love this view, and also finally I'm here. Yeah, it's almost a hundred years old, built in 1921. Yeah, I love here. Look at this. View is amazing. Yeah, one of the seven wonders of the world. I mean, like, I feel like my whole family is here in Brazil. I was dreaming about this place for probably like 15 or 20 years to visit and finally I'm here. It worth it every penny. I need to take a picture. Maybe I should ask someone to take my picture or take my phone, I don't know. I decided to visit Sugarloaf Mountain, which is rated by many as number one place to visit in Rio. It has the best picture-perfect view of Christ the Redeemer, an expensive 360 views of the city line. But the lines are insanely long, and people can spend hours just waiting for their turn to go up. So I'm doing it VIP way. So I decided to just keep the line about fast track and I'm going through the VIP lounge. I don't stay in the same line and I just spend hours and hours just buying tickets and then going to one of the cable cars. And it's perfect timing for the sunset. I'm here, yeah. From here, I thought that it was possible to take a helicopter flight around Christ the Redeemer for only $150 per person. So, of course, I jumped on the next flight to enjoy an up close view of the Christ the Redeemer itself. And then when I came back, I found out that there was another mount that I should climb. And lucky I was to have my VIP entrance as I passed a lot of people. And just a few minutes later, I was on top of the mountain. Perfect timing for a beautiful sunset. So the only tour I can afford is go to Rio Favelas uh, and it's one of the most dangerous slums in the world. I booked the cheapest group tour with the local, but seems nobody else is show up, I don't know why, but uh, seems like it's a private tour only for me. And of course I use motor taxi, it's the best here. I was invited in a capoeira show, they teach me how to dance, how to fight, kind of uh, make a small donation because I'm about it, but it was fun and of course I went to visit some rooftops and on the way to this rooftop I met a lot of uh, gangsters with automatic guns with guns and my local guy tell me that I should stop recording so unfortunately no guns footage I prepare myself to the worst and to be attacked but I'm surprisingly people here is very nice and friendly and I feel here more secure than uh, in in uh, Copacabana Beach. In the afternoon I decided to check the spa, had a massage and then I bought some souvenirs. They had an amazing scarf made specially for Copacabana Palace for only $80, so that was a perfect souvenir. Then I went to the beach, but it was too crowded, so I decided to launch near the pool and try the famous Capurinha drink, which was very good. So I hop on a bus and went to another cool place. Uh, yeah, I found another great place here in Rio and it's free of charge. So we are inside Royal Portuguese reading room and it's absolutely free. I love it. Yeah, and at this library, uh, if you love Harry Potter's movies, at this library as they shoot some scene and here is a magic Harry Potter book I'm not sure but probably 
I don't know why I'm so quiet because it's kind of library but it's uh, no people inside I mean like just tourists probably I can go louder but anyways I want to be quiet so I think my experience is much uh, better and free Finally, I became very hungry and I was lucky to be in downtown, so I decided to try street food. Hello, can I have a tapioca queso? This one. Yeah, thank you. Real street Brazilian food. My tapioca with cheese. Yeah, I feel like I'm local. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so good! Mm -hmm. Local street food, I think it's like Michelin restaurant here. Yeah, thank you guys, yeah, it's really good. It's the best tapioca I ever tried. Yeah, thank you. So we are in Brazil and all I know about Brazil is that they eat a lot and that grill here is amazing. So I asked in Copacabana Palace like what is the best grill restaurant here and they told me that I should go to Giuseppe so here we are and I'm trying one of the best steaks here that my waiter recommended. Can we? Well, I hope Andrew is doing great with his budget trip. Yeah. My Conte Exclusivo de Picanha, Picanha Super Sumo, Especiale de Churrascaria de Giuseppe Cotini. Okay. This one is so good, it literally just melts in my mouth. So good. Brazil is famous for some of the best delicious steaks in the world and here they had an open kitchen and everyone was so friendly showing me all the steaks and the huge chunks of meat that they have everything was so tasty and I wish I had a huge stomach to just try everything they had I love Rio, I found a pretty cool place, it's Rio Church, it's like a samba music with some famous artists. Let's go and check it out, Rio Church. So I went to walk around downtown at night to see some beautiful arts at night. It was so empty, but so beautiful. Suddenly I found some very busy street with kind of a dancing samba party. And of course I decided to try a local capirinha. It's a local alcoholic drink. And it's so fun. Yeah, I love Rio. It's a lot to do for free. Yeah, look at this. So good morning, I have a great sleep, almost, I mean like it's not a 5 star hotel but still I do have my own space, I wish it was a little bit clean but it's not, so now let's go to have some breakfast, but first let's take a shower. Yeah, I need to find some breakfast stuff here. I mean, look, it's a pretty cool store. Very affordable. So, I wonder what locals do for breakfast. Huh. I think I should get like some banana with yogurt. Yeah, prices here is really reasonable. Yeah, look at this. All sausage, 16.47. I mean, like one dollar. Here is another four. So, my perfect breakfast on the beach. I think it's like five star Michelin restaurant as well. What can be better? Uh, breakfast next to the ocean. I hope Marina have a great time. I'm right here, first line. 
woke up super hungry, so I immediately went downstairs to have breakfast in my hotel. Breakfast was amazing, they have a buffet style and also some options on the card, so that was my choice. So of course for breakfast I have so many options here and um, I will also use the tapioca. Uh, I wonder what Andrew has for breakfast right now. Of course, I had a couple mimosas just to start the day right. And now we're back to my mission. So we have an envelope. Let's have it here. We have a couple cards. I'm writing a small message for my mom and dad. Now we have to seal it. And before leaving, I gave my cards to my concierge. Mission complete. Oh. Good to see you! How was your trip? Uh, great! Great? Yeah, we are show such me. a great country! Yeah, show you know, me what look, did you look, do? Look, look, look! Everything is for free! Look at this! Oh, wow! Free! Free! No way! Yes! I love Rio! Seems like you had more fun than I did! I still have some money in my pocket! No way! <laughs> yes! And look, and this is what I did! Oh no way, really? Wow! Whoa. Look where I live. Oh my gosh, I wish I next time have this opportunity. Let's go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>